my chariots welcome back to my channel i have another pick a card reading for you today and this reading is going to be what is blocking your connection okay so i have three beautiful piles that i have set up um, first thing i want to say is i hope you're all able to check out the live stream that uh, will be featured tonight with Made for Love. All right, we're going to be doing a beautiful meditation and then some uh, free, free mini reads um, afterwards. So it's 8 p.m. Eastern time. All right, check it out. Um, I'll be posting on the community page uh, the link. All right, for that that live viewing for when it, it, it views um, starting tonight at 8 p.m. Um, and I just want to say hello and thank you to all my wonderful um, subscribers out there. For those of you that return and for the new ones as well, please, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos if you get a chance. That's always so helpful, a beautiful energy exchange. And if you're interested in a personal private reading my email is in the description box below you can always reach out to me there and i will send you all the latest information all right so three piles today we're asking spirit what is blocking this connection okay pile one pile two and pile three and i all have here three different types of the beautiful amethyst that i love so much so pile one look you have this beautiful um, circular raw piece of crystal this was one of my latest purchases okay um, so that is for you and then pile two you have this beautiful heart okay this beautiful piece here i like this a lot i always have this and then pile three, you have my mini skull, which is my chevron amethyst. Okay. And this always sits with me um, at my desk for my readings as well. So my chariots, you know the drill. Do what you need to do. Stop the video if you need to. Take a quiet moment. If you're drawn to more than one of the piles, that's just means there's messages in the other piles for you to hear and if none are resonating with you today if none of the messages make sense to you that's all right okay you can kindly just back out move on look at the other videos that I've updated um, uploaded and just realize that this reading is not for you today um, it's for others okay so why don't you pick your pile and I will see you there Hello, pile one, you picked, wow, this beautiful raw cluster circular piece of amethyst and it is beautiful. I absolutely love this. It is one of my favorites. So this is going to be your reading today. All right, we are asking spirit, we are asking today, what is blocking this connection? Okay, and I think it's important to note that a lot of times we do know deep inside what is the true blocks when it comes to this connection. So this is always a nice confirmation for you, all right, to see if it resonates. But we are here, we'll take a look at the cards and we will see what comes through. So for pile one, I want you to take a deep breath. I want you to center yourself. We're going to start out with two oracle cards here. And I'm going to take a look at your person's energy and, and see um, what is blocking this connection right now. So let's take a look. We have the journal. And we have wonders, okay? So I'm obviously going to pull in tarot cards and drill down further, but what is blocking this connection um, with the journal card here? This is coming through as card number 26, which in tarot that reduces to eight, 
and that's all about the strength card that's leo energy that's coming through here and in this card um, the journal i feel that someone has um, your person pile one um, they've been writing a lot they've been researching a lot with this wonders card here they've been wondering a lot all right um, and maybe they've been overthinking a little too much okay maybe um, their head you know sort of has that um, sometimes you hear it it's as monkey mind I feel that this person's mind is sort of running wild and that can possibly be a block in this connection all right they realize with this number 26 here that reduces to eight that this is a connection that would take need to take a lot of strength all right and endurance a lot of resilience in order to follow this path all right i feel in this case this is not an easy path that your person um would be able to take uh, what I am noticing is in both, you know, isn't it beautiful that this wonders card comes up and this is showing, you know, an amethyst crystal and, and that's what I chose for all three readings today, the amethyst. It's a very spiritual crystal, but it has a very calming energy, okay? But I'm seeing the purple in this card and I'm seeing that this woman here is uh, wearing purple. Okay, and I feel, you know, and then we have these roses, these red roses that are on her hat, which is showing me the love, okay, and the emotion, but I'm drawn into the purple here, showing me that this is a spiritual connection. I feel that this is a connection that is uh, guided by the universe right now. And your person has been doing a lot of thinking about this. I feel like they've been researching or reading about it with this book here, this journal. They could be writing about it, but I feel like they're taking a lot of time um, to understand uh, what this connection is all about. So with these two cards, Spirit, we're asking for pile one. What else can you tell us in regards to this connection what is blocking this connection at this time please what is blocking this connection and today I am using the mermaid tarot I'm feeling very uh, water driven so what is blocking this connection all right we have the six of wands here we have the king of cups and we have the three of wands so what am i getting what am i feeling right off the bat I'm feeling um, what is blocking this connection. Um, number one, it could be ego, all right, with the six of wands here. And it can be ego versus following your heart with the king of cups here. And number two, I'm getting, and I, what, what's this? I just saw the ten of swords. Um, the three of wands here, I'm getting that it could be distance. There can be distance between the two of you, pile one, and that's a factor. But let me see what else. Let me clarify. The magician. The five of cups. And the Four of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck. Wow, the moon. 
the moon and the six of swords followed by the seven of pentacles so what am i what am i getting here what am i feeling um your person definitely has i feel wondered about this a lot all right i feel with this wonders card in the journal it's something that they fantasized that they thought about you know moving this connection forward um and yet on on the bottom of this deck the overall energy we have here is the moon so this is all about hidden emotions and hidden feelings so i feel in in the case of pile one um you know this person who is journaling um keeping everything to themselves keeping everything hidden so i feel that that is a huge part of this not coming forward not uh this your person not coming forward not speaking their truth not telling you how they really feel okay and i do believe it's because there's a lot of pride and ego here okay with this six of wands the six of wands is you know wanting victory all right and wanting success but yet at the same time um there's something about public recognition that stands out here so i feel in some ways how would your person look if they were to move forward and work on this connection with you um you know that pride and ego getting in the way of how their heart truly feels because of this public recognition okay and clarifying this is the magician so this is showing me something deep inside that they want to manifest this connection they want to move it forward and yet this their ego all right their ego is getting in the way because they're not moving forward you know sometimes the magician can um appear as a trickster as a, a a manipulator because they have the tools here and yet they're not using them um in a way that works for them in the best possible way all right so i, I feel like your person is coming through with this magician energy where they want to manifest this yet they are not taking the action themselves to work on this and make this um connection this relationship you know move forward they are blocked there's definitely some heartache here there's regret and sadness with this five of cups okay so presently there is um some sadness coming through from your person pile one because i do feel that there are e emotions that are here um, your person feels very deeply for you all right with this king of cups this is showing me that this person has a very deep heart but again uh, something i always stress with the king of cups is they're not always able to express it and with the moon here this moon on uh, as the message on the bottom of the deck that's showing me this is someone that, that keeps everything internalized and and the four of pentacles is also showing me that you know this is a connection or a relationship that your person does not want to let go of but i feel that um you know when i look at this card i just feel that they feel alone right now and this is clarifying the three of wands where i feel that for some of you there's definitely distance involved okay your person isn't near you and so what could block be blocking this connection well it could be the fact that if you live worlds apart or you're not anywhere near each other um, the thought of what your person would have to um, sacrifice in order to make this happen so they wonder you know they think about what they would have to sacrifice in order um, for this connection or relationship to work it's very overwhelming for them and we do have the six of swords here which is about moving away moving on to something better moving on to calmer waters okay so your person it's not like they haven't thought about this but i feel that you know with the seven of pentacles here right behind it that's showing me the frustration and the um 
the time that would need to be involved here um, and the amount of responsibility because we also have here the Ten of Wands. So this is just overwhelming to your person, okay? I feel that the changes that would need to be made in order to carry this um, connection through um, and don't get me wrong, your person, look, down here in the bottom is the Ten of Diamonds, which um, represents the Ten of Pentacles. So your person has definitely thought about this as their happiness, their fulfillment. Uh, they definitely have those feelings that this can, you know, they know that they would be happy if they were with you, but due to their current situation, um, and the changes that they would have to make this moving away what would have to what would entail that is very overwhelming and burdening to your person let me see what else i can clarify spirit can we please clarify for pile one the cards on this table what else can you clarify into what is blocking this connection right now The Six of Pentacles. Wow, the Six of Wands. And the Three of Wands again coming out. So this is definitely um, a struggle for your person because look, on the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Cups is here. All right, so to me that's like confirming and backing up the six of cups your person definitely has these deep feelings for you okay but uh, behind that is the knight of pentacles and with the knight of pentacles this shows me how much time needs to be involved how much patience needs to be involved when it comes to the situation and this connection um, clarifying the magician and the six of wands so again i feel like there's this passion and desire that your person has for you and this journey that they would want to take with you. And yet right now they feel that they just cannot contribute with the six of pentacles here. You know, they're, they're holding these coins and this is all about giving and receiving. Okay. And I feel like they, they know that it's just not possible right now to give to you that the way that they'd want, you know, to be able the way they would want to give to you okay i'm getting this feeling like it's almost they feel that it's impossible and because of this there's a lot of regret and there's a lot of remorse okay they feel like there's a lot of mountains that they would have to climb in order to finally reach that point of where they find that this could be a beautiful journey that they could you know live with you and then clarifying also is the six of wands. So we have the six of wands coming up twice. So I do feel that they are stuck in ego and pride right now. All right. They don't, they do not want to show their vulnerability. All right. They do not want their heart to lead the situation right now. And, and I do feel a lot of it is because for a lot of you, we have the three of wands here again. Um, this is someone who wonders and thinks about you all the time. Okay, so I feel like you are always on this um, person's mind, but I feel at the same time that they feel like you're a million miles away. And because of that, they don't, they don't feel like they even begin to understand or know how they could um, move this forward. It's just too overwhelming from them. All right, so they stay where they are. They feel like they rather stay in this safe place. Okay, so before I close out this reading, I will get you some messages from your person. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I feel like I'm being called to use, hold on, this other deck. Let me just see if there's anything else that comes out for you. This is my Twin Flame Journey Oracle, and let me see if I can get from this deck 
anything else before I, I get you some messages. So for pile one, please spirit, is there anything else you can tell us about what is blocking this connection? What is blocking this connection at this time? Unawakened. So, you know, um, I saw the purple in these cards mentioning I felt like this is a spiritual connection. It could be very well possible that your person is just not there yet. They are just not awake. All right. They, you might be a little bit more ahead of them on this journey than they are, especially if you do believe this is a deep um, soul connection. All right, we do have observer here. I feel like they're watching you more than taking action. New direction. Okay, so it could be that they're just trying to take themselves in a new direction. All right. And with that six of swords there, it might be possible. Settling. So, you know, if they are with another um, partner or another third party, this definitely can mean that they're settling at this time. And, and it's because they don't feel that they have that strength, okay, um, to overcome, you know, the obstacles, the adversities that are involved in this type of situation um, at this point. What else? Mirroring. All right. So that can be telling me that the two of you are mirroring. You may be going through the same thing, pile one, very similar to them. You may be settling. You may be in a situation um, that you feel that is also has obstacles so it may not just be them it could be the both of you and fear see and I do feel that that that's a huge one here there's there's a lot of fear okay the fear to surrender they're afraid to surrender to this um, deep spiritual connection so when, when and when you're in that state of fear there's there's you know there's not much you can do i mean each of you are on your own journey and you're on your own path uh if you two are meant to realign i do believe that will happen when the timing is right but when it is based out of fear um you have to let that person work through that all right, so let me get messages from your person before we close out the reading. Damn, you're beautiful. All right, so your person is letting you know that they still think you're beautiful. They thought that they had more time with you. So they weren't prepared. I miss our talks. They miss talking to you. Telepathy, our minds are connected. So you may feel some communication, all right, in the 3D, in the astral world. I know this connection is guided by the universe. And I said that in the beginning with the, all this purple coming through. I do believe that this is a guided connection. On the bottom of the deck, look, I know we will be together again. Um, why didn't I speak up when I had the chance? And that's true with this moon here that, that sits on the bottom um, as the overall energy. So to close out the reading, I'm going to pull a card from the power of surrender and see what advice pile one you need to hear. All right at this time so spirit for pile one what advice do they need to hear at this time please what is the best advice they need to hear
surrender to wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. So if you are awakened, Pile One, I think Spirit's trying to let you know you need to keep, you know, that open you know you're surrendering to the wonder and awe um so that your energies can align with your person so that if they're not awakened that they can begin to experience um this as well because i do feel here with the fear and i think ego and pride that are really in the way those are um you know three of the main obstacles that block this connection at this time and your person has to reach that state where um, they see things for more than what they actually are so they can begin to experience that wonder and awe and look you know we started out here with the wonders card and we're ending with surrender to wonder and awe all right so I hope this resonated with you, Pile One, and I will see you again at the next reading. Bye. Hello, Pile Two. You picked the beautiful amethyst heart that I have here for your reading. Okay, so we are asking Spirit today what's blocking this connection. So why don't you take a deep breath Think about your person. Just be still for a second. And we will see what the cards show us. I did mention to Pile 1, I feel that, you know, sometimes you already know what is blocking the connection, but it's nice to receive confirmation. Or sometimes there are new answers that you may not have been aware of, or it's you know something you didn't think of or maybe you didn't see it from that perspective so it gives you um, a different way of thinking so let's take a look pile two we are asking spirit today when it comes to you and your person what is blocking this connection at this time so we have a key here the key okay and we have potential all right so we're definitely going to get other cards but the first thing that I'm feeling is and one of the possibilities for some of you or you didn't think of this or it may just be for a small amount of you when it comes to potential I'm feeling that your person um, may have feelings that they are not uh, good enough for you, okay? So they're dealing with um, that self-awareness. Uh, they're doing self-reflection and some soul searching and, and they're feeling that they're not at a potential um, to or compared to you, okay? Um, we also have this card here, the key, all right? And, you know, this is the key that unlocks the door to those potentials, okay? And I feel like your person's holding on to that key for whatever reason, okay? Whatever they're dealing with, but they're, it's almost as if they are afraid to unlock this door, uh, this is a card 33, which reduces to six, and that is the lover's card. The lover's, of course, is a deep connection, all right? It's all about choice, though. And uh, I feel that, you know, when, when it comes to what's blocking this connection, it's your person holding on to this key until they realize that they have the key to unlock this and, and that there is potential here. Um, this eight of diamonds down in the corner represents the eight of pentacles. So again, that's about training and mastery, um, a skillmanship or apprenticeship, um, investing in something. So I do feel that your person may be struggling with where they are. You know, they feel like maybe they don't have enough to offer you. 
Maybe they don't feel that they are a place um, in life when it comes to their career and their security, their stability, maybe their financial concerns. They don't feel that they are at a place that they can offer you enough. So they're dealing with this potential here. But let's see what else. We're going to draw more tarot cards and some oracle cards and see what else we can get here from these two cards we started with. So Spirit, this is for pile two, please. It can also be, you know, you chose this heart. So we could be dealing with matters of the heart and this key. You know, you may hold the key to your person's heart, but yet they're very guarded. They have walls up, all right? They're afraid. There's fear there for this potential to exist between the two of you. So for pile two, please, spirits, what is blocking this connection? What is currently blocking this connection? And I'm using the mermaid tarot today. For those of you that are interested, what is blocking this connection? If you didn't see the beginning, I hope you join me at the live stream tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Time with Made for Love. It should be very relaxing. A start, a new start to the month of October. All right, we have the Ten of Swords here. So we're definitely dealing with an ending and some heartache. Wow, the Five of Cups, Regret, and the Moon. Oh my goodness. What else do we have going on here? The Queen of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands and the Page of Swords. On the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Cups. All right, and the Three of Wands with the Hierophant underneath and the Seven of Swords. So, okay. Um, some of the feelings that I'm getting right now is um this definitely can be a third party type of situation when we talk about this key it could be that your person feels that they have no control over this key meaning they currently can be with another partner in another relationship um, they could be committed to a family um, or you can be as well. So they feel that, um, you know, unlocking this door, they're not sure what type of potential um, this would bring. Um, the bottom of the deck energy is the Eight of Cups. So I feel that this is a situation where one or both of you had to walk away from this connection. Okay, and because of that, um, there is a lot of wondering. There's a lot of yearning. Um, the Three of Wands, you know, this is the card that shows me um, in traditional tarot that, you know, waiting for that ship to come in. You're waiting for that right moment. So, you're thinking, you know, you have a plan set in place, but yet you're not taking any action. Sometimes I feel that this is um, showing me that there could be a separation here or a long distance, um, you, or you're not close to one another. So this person is thinking about you from afar. And then I also have the Hierophant here, which can possibly represent marriage for some of you so your person or you 
may be married to other people, which is blocking this connection. All right. Um, and, and we have the seven of swords behind that. So with the seven of swords here, I feel like your person is thinking about this right now as a missed opportunity. Um, there was definitely some sort of ending here in the past with this ten of swords. So there was some sort of conflict or battle or something happened here. Pile two between you and your person that caused this ending that hurt either you or your person. Um, either your person hurt you or you're both hurt from this. Um, and then I have the queen of pentacles, which can confirm to me that this possibly is, uh, you know, queen of pentacles sometimes uh, represents a married woman. All right. So there's someone that can be very well married when it comes to the situation. And they realize that this had to end because uh, they don't see the potential if the both of you or one of you are with other other partners, with other people at this time. Um, and yet there is a lot of sadness here. There's a lot of regrets with that seven of swords. I feel like there's something here that um, um, either a missed opportunity or um, uh, a missed time to actually be authentic and express um, yourself. Your person did not, you know, come forward. There's something that was not authentic here, either discussing your feelings, your true feelings that you have for one another, or um, just the situation in general. But there's um, regret here. There's remorse and sadness. And even though this person would love nothing more than we have the Ace of Wands here. So this is about, you know, that new, um, a new step, a new gift. All right. A new opportunity. And, and the Ace of Wands is all about passion and action and desire. And I feel that there's nothing more here that your person would love when it just comes to their desires and their will. All right. Um, that they would love to move this connection to the next level. And yet, um, because of the reasons that I've just mentioned, they know that they can't do this. All right. So for now, um, I feel that, you know, your person is just basically uh, looking at you as, yes, you hold the key to their heart. Okay. And yes, they feel that there could be so much potential here. There could be so much potential if the situation was different, but it's not. So because of that, they choose to say nothing with this moon here. Um, they choose not to speak up. They choose not to talk about it. They keep this held all within them. Okay. And they just carry on. They're just trying to move forward. All right. They're trying to occupy themselves with different things, learning new things, new opportunities in their surroundings, their environment, their life right now. With the Page of Swords here, I feel like they do watch you. They keep an eye on you. They do not forget about you. Um, but there's definitely sadness here. I almost get the feeling that it, this feeling's coming through that your person is thinking like this is the one that got away. Let me see what else I can clarify. So Spirit, can, can you please clarify for me the cards on the table here in regards to pile, pile two in their person? What is blocking this connection? The Magician, the Six of Pentacles, which came out in Pile 1 as well.
and the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is coming out twice. On the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. So your person, you know, the Ace, look, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of um, Swords with the King of Wands. Um, what I'm feeling is that your person has a very strong desire for you. There's a lot of passion here. Um, and they think about manifesting all the time with this magician here, this new start that they would love to take with you. But then when it comes down to this physical material world, they feel like they have nothing to offer you at this time. All right. And this causes them heartache and anxiety. They've, this is something that they agonize over. I feel that if they were to move forward in this situation, it has a lot to do with the pentacles that are here. Um, meaning this stability and security and foundation right now. So if this were to become real, um, they feel that they don't have enough to give you. And I think I started off the beginning of this reading with feelings of, you know, their potential. They don't feel like they are good enough for you. All right. They see you as this queen of pentacles and yet they don't feel um, that they can do anything right now to change this. We have the Hierophant here again. All right. This this to me is showing me again that one or both of you are in a situation that prevents this relationship from becoming tangible. All right. So let's see. Um, I have my Twin Flame Journey Oracle cards here. And let's see what else comes out in regards to the situation. So Spirit for Pile 2 again. Can you clarify anything else when it comes to what is blocking this connection at this time? What is blocking this connection? Pride and ego. Wow. Compromise. You know, and, and this definitely, um, in regards to the situation, this is something that the both of you, I think, would have to compromise on and sacrifice on both parts. metamorphosis okay so you know changes could be on the way transformation maybe your person realizes the changes that would have to take place in order for this to move forward all right those changes crossroads they can't make a decision the Divine Feminine is here. So I feel that that is a definite, you know, a strong energy coming through. We had the Queen of Pentacles here. They see you as the Queen of Pentacles. So there's a strong Divine Feminine energy coming, coming through either you or them. Wow. Divine Masculine. So there's that, there's the counterparts coming through and yet the pride and the ego. Look at this too, bottom of the deck, material world. Did I not say that this is a problem? The ace of pentacles, this material world, they cannot, they don't feel that there's anything that they can offer compared to you, all right? or the changes that would have to take place, the compromise that would have to take place between the both of you. Um, how would that affect their physical material world at this point? And yet the cards are here confirming this energy, the counterparts, divine feminine and divine masculine. So let me get some messages from your person, Pile 2, before I close out this reading. Let 
messages does pile two's person have? Messages does pile two's person have for pile two, please? Everything reminds me of you. There is so much passion between us. Your impact on me is so profound. Your passion ignites my soul. Lots of wand energy that I saw before, you know, I think the king of wands as well. Your shining light gives me hope. So this could be a person saying that they're not giving up. We are yin and yang. And look at that comes out over the divine feminine and divine masculine. All right. That beautiful alchemy, that mix. All right. Beautiful energies there. So before we close out the reading pile too, let me get you one card from the power of surrender. Let's see pile two. What advice, what message do you need to hear most right now when it comes to your connection in regards to what is currently blocking this connection for pile two please spirit what do they what do they need to surrender most right now surrender to inner peace Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet, meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. So I'm almost zoned in on that. Others will feel your good vibes too, pile two. I think you need to follow your inner peace, your, um, your own inner voice, your intuition and um, your person pile to uh, will be drawn. You know, I always feel that it's your energy, your alignment, like attracts like, right? So you need to continue to focus on your own inner peace, all right? While your person comes to turn terms with this metamorphosis and some of the fears that they're dealing with when it comes um, to this connection. So I hope this resonated with you, Pile 2, and I will see you again at the next reading. Bye. Hello, Pile 3. You chose my little skull here. All right, my mini skull. This is Chevron Amethyst, and I always keep this at my desk. I actually even have a name for her. I call her Lizzie. All right, so she sits at my desk. All right. And I'm going to, I can set her over here. And this is your reading. We are trying to find out what is blocking your connection right now. Okay, so why don't you take a few seconds to just center yourself for a second. Be still, think about your person. Um, we are asking spirits today, what is blocking this connection? And I did say in the other readings that sometimes you know and you just need confirmation or sometimes you just need to see things from a different perspective. Maybe it's something that you didn't realize or give much thought about. So this is helpful too. All right. Uh, let's see. So for pile three, let's take a look and see what is blocking this connection. Wow, we have the bouquet here. All right, so this is your first card and then two cards came out for you from my other, um, my other deck here, my Sacred Destiny Oracle card. You're the only pile that has two, so let's see what else is going on. Wow, Voyage and Wisdom. So, what am I immediately getting? Um, I have these feelings for, for pile three, your person. 
I feel that they're struggling with being logical versus following their heart. All right, because on one side, I see this card about wisdom. So I'm thinking the mind, I'm thinking logistics. Um, you know, I'm thinking uh, the, in the intellectual, you know, part of this whole process, uh, being rational, okay, reasonable, when I see this wisdom card here. And uh, even in this card though, like, you know, this is the ocean and you see this beauty, like, this is like, to me, like a beautiful mermaid. And I feel like that's how your person sees you pile three. And yet, um, their mind gets in the way they're, they're maybe they're too analytical when it comes to the situation, because then over here on the opposite side, you got the bouquet that came out. All right this beautiful bouquet of red roses so i feel the love here i feel the emotion that your person has for you this is card number nine too so this is virgo energy coming through because this is the hermit but that's telling me that your person has done a lot of self-reflecting a lot of soul searching when it comes to this situation um and we have the, this is the queen of spades, which is the queen of swords, okay? Um, and she represents, you know, the queen of swords. She's blunt, she's direct, but she's honest. Um, and she's a communicator, all right? But she can, she can come off cold at times, um, you know, she will just say what needs to be said. So that energy is showing up here. So there could be some type of communication that's being withheld in regards to a matters of the heart with this beautiful bouquet. So that can be an obstacle as well. Um, but in the middle of this, we also have a voyage. So I feel that there's travel or something that is preventing this, that can be an obstacle that there's some sort of travel. I don't know if the two of you pile three would have to relocate or does someone think about they would have to make a move somewhere else. Um, so travel might be involved and this is very overwhelming for your person to have to start in a new area or, or consider a new location. Even though with the queen of swords here, I don't even know if this was amicably discussed between the two of you. I'm just feeling like this is something that they've considered and they feel that is on their mind. But I definitely feel that there's reason and logic that is trying to fight uh, feelings and emotions, okay? And, and with that also comes to me this having to travel this voyage that also even sets this as an obstacle, making it even more difficult for you and your person. But let's see what else we have. Let's take a look at tarot. I'm using the mermaid deck today. Okay. So for pile three, please, what's blocking this connection? What else can you tell us? Pile three, what is blocking this connection? Ten of Pentacles. Family, there could be families involved. What is blocking this connection? The Wheel of Fortune, time. Fate, destiny, divine timing. What is blocking this connection? The page of pentacles. The page of pentacles. That's, that's about... That's about wanting to experience something real here. Perhaps, you know, this connection or situation never really got off the ground 
to see if this is something worth, you know, I, I get this feeling like if the two of you might not have even had a chance in to make this real, what else? The Seven of Cups, Confusion, Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, we have Heartache here, there's Pain here. And the King of Pentacles. Wow, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. I feel like there's definitely um, something in place, some type of stability that's already in place. And because of that, look, and the Devil, the Devil is here. Wow, and the Ten of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. I definitely feel that this is a situation where um, there is something already um, secured and stable um, in your person's life, Pile 3 and or yours take it however it resonates um, there can be children involved there could be a family involved um, something that keeps them stable and secure from being able to travel or take this voyage okay and and that is falling here in the middle of again what, what i'm feeling is this head versus heart um, But we have the wheel of fortune here that's in the center and that's all about fate and it's about destiny okay so there's almost this feeling like of divine timing at play as well um your person i feel this is something that they think about all the time we have the devil here so this is some feelings coming you know th through that they might be in a situation that they feel like they're trapped in something that um, holds them back that feels that they do not have the freedom so that they can walk freely towards you um, we also have the ten of swords here which represents an ending all right um, it it represents a final um, a finality uh, you know this person feels um, that something has ended here so there's, there, it's possible that the two of you had a falling out or you drifted apart or there had to be some sort of split or separation. Um, but we have the Ace of Pentacles here and, and this is all about new opportunities. And with the Pentacle though, this is stressing um, about this physical material world, all right? And I, we have the judgment card behind that with the Ace of Wands. So I feel that your person, Pile th uh, 3, has this feelings of, you know, they feel very drawn to you with this judgment card. They feel called to you. Um, they hear that, you know, this, this mermaid is blowing this horn, all right? They hear this and feel this, this energy. Um, that brings a lot of passion and desire to them um, and w with this devil card here this also shows me that this is something that they've thought about a lot um, in taking this new step and what it would be like and with the ace of pentacles that's all about making it real in this 3d material world but i feel that um There's just too much heartache here with this Three of Swords that would be involved if, if they were to move forward and 
make this happen. So instead, they're waiting for this wheel of fortune, meaning they feel that this is fated or destined in some way. And, and they're, they're waiting for that, then stepping up and sort of making this choice because they don't feel with this wisdom card here that this is the logical choice to make. It doesn't seem um, rational, rational for them to follow their heart. There's too much, I think, at stake when it comes to their stability and security and what they have going on now. So let me just clarify. Let's see for pile three, please. What else? What else can we clarify? Spirit, when we're asking what is blocking this connection, what else can you tell us? Wow. The lovers. So there's definitely a very deep, intense connection here between the two of you. And with this card comes choice. All right. There's definitely with the red, there's passion here. Oh, wow. The Empress is here. So your person sees you as the Empress Pile 3. They really see you as that divine counterpart. Okay? They feel, they know and they feel that you are the one. And there's the Three of Cups. All right? So this can confirm for me that there is a third party situation that may be going on here with the seven of swords on the bottom of the deck. And, and because there's other commitments, um, look, your person is very sad. There's a lot of regret. There's a lot of remorse here because they feel like this is a missed opportunity. They feel that, you know, they've met their divine counterpart and, and yet they can't take action on that. All right. They're not able they're not able to because of the, all the pentacles that surround them at this time. There's too many coins here. So that physical material world is, is unfortunately, if, if they were to take this voyage, they would destabilize everything. And yet there's these deep feelings here. They know. And I think that's why they feel so hurt with the Ten of Swords. So let me see what else we can pull from the Twin Flame Journey Oracle deck. All right, this is by Mystic Moon. Mystic Moon Oracles. So Spirit, what else when it comes to Pile 3 and their person? What's blocking this connection? What else can you tell us? What else can you tell us? when it comes to what is blocking this connection. Observer. I feel like they're watching you pile three, but not doing anything about it. Wow, Muse, that's beautiful with this lover's energy here. Definitely feel that, that feeling of um, a catalyst and inspiration that you both are to each other, um, despite the circumstances that circulate around you currently um, in this 3D world. Contemplation, wow. And that's falling out, you know, over this wisdom card. I really feel that your person analyzes everything to the extreme. You know, an overthinker, um, you know, that term monkey mind, to the point that it really does trap them here. It traps them um, into thinking that they cannot free themselves or escape the current situation that they are in. Yet, this muse that falls over the empress, I feel, pile three, your person uh, thinks the world of you. They find you highly, um, they, uh, a deep, profound respect for you. All 
What else? Action. Yes. And it's funny, it, it's coming out under the observer. So they're observing and they, sh you know, to me there's this conflict again of not doing anything versus taking action. What else? What's blocking this connection? What is blocking this connection for pile three? Material world. And there's so many pentacles here, right? This material world is blocking this connection. What they've got going on right now to destabilize that over their emotions, it's too great for them. Wow, awakening. So your person can be going through an awakening right now, all right, as well. So they're just, you know, in process. Wow, communication is on the bottom of the deck here. So I also feel that communication is a huge part. And look at the way this is, um, and Divine Feminine shows up underneath with Summer and the Starfish. Um, that gives me that feeling of, you know, that happiness. It, it almost reminds me of the sun card in tarot, you know, that fulfillment with the divine feminine coming out again, along with the empress, but the communication, you know, look how it's showing. I feel like there's these, you know, our, the voyage, the travel worlds apart, but yet there seems to be a deep need for communication in order to better understand each other. All right. So let me get messages from your person, pile three, before I close out the reading. messages from pile three's person wow we are yin and yang that came out in pile two as well i'm so sorry i didn't see us for what we are and you know that kind of makes sense with that awakening card here maybe um in the past past energies uh your person didn't really Maybe they weren't open or they just didn't see enough um, for what the connection was truly meant to be. Um, my soul knows the way. So there's this struggle, I think, with your person, you know, that falls out over the wisdom card of, you know, again, being logical versus following your, your soul. Don't push me away. We are not over. Wow. How do we fix this? You know, and that comes out in between contemplation and awakening. So I do feel that your person being the um, logical overthinker that they are um, definitely thinks about how they can move forward and how, how can they fix it? How can they make, you know, how can they make this right? On the bottom of the deck, what do we have? Don't ever doubt my love for you. So there's that lovers coming through, that deep, intense um, connection and feeling, the love, the emotions that are there. So before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull one card from the Power of Surrender. All right, so for Pile 3, please, Spirit, what does Pile 3 need to to surrender right now what does pile three need to surrender when it comes to what's blocking this connection Render comparisons with other people. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, 
and power. So this can be another obstacle that's coming through. All right, maybe your person compares themselves to others, okay? When it comes to this connection or they're too worried about what other people around them might think. All right, so that is something to consider and reflect on as well. <gasps> Pile three, uh, I hope this reading resonated with you. I'll see you at the next one. And don't forget, if you get a chance, please join me tonight live, um, 8 p.m. Eastern time with Made for Love, all right, um, for a love stream. Um, I will see you then. Bye.